Hello again and uh, it's time for a new video. Uh, today we are going to be discussing uh, creating charts in C++ Builder. Uh, in order to do that you need to have this T-chart standard set of components installed and uh, if you don't have those uh, you need to go to uh, manage platforms not uh, on get it package manager but uh, manage platforms and here uh, you have a red studio uh, I installation popping out and you need to make sure this this uh, t-chart standard is selected and once you apply it will be installed and uh, you will have this set of components here and uh, just like I said this is a standard uh, t-chart set of components there is also pro version which is much much better but then again uh, it's a paid version uh, but also, I must say that even this standard version is uh, really, really good and uh, you will see it for yourself uh, in this demonstration that there are so many options that you can use, you can set uh, and, and uh, it's really uh, awesome, right? So let's demonstrate it. Uh, first, we need to uh, decide what kind of chart do we want, uh, meaning uh, where are the data. So uh, there are two uh, sources for data. For example, those can be some data in your uh, application memory for example in some array or something like that or uh, those data can be stored in some database table something like this and I will show you uh, both ways so I'll place a t-chart here uh, that should represent some uh, graph inside and uh, in order to add a, a graph inside I will double click it and each graph uh, is represented by a series and I need to add at least one series here. So when I click add, now I need to uh, uh, decide which type of uh, uh, series do I want. Do I want a line, bar, uh, pi, or something else. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to choose this bar. It can be also uh, specified as a 3D by default or not, uh, smooth or not. Uh, uh, I can also specify um, uh, uh, skins or styles for for this graph and so on so let's uh, simply choose this one and uh, once we added this series now we can see some sample data just to get a feeling how this uh, uh, graph would look like and uh, the thing is that uh, you can also add uh, multiple series here for example uh, not just showing this uh, uh, bar graph here but I also want to show the line graph overlapping this uh, bar graph so I'll click OK and now uh, you can see that I have uh, two series here right uh, one is the uh, series one which is the bar graph and the second one is the line graph and that can be useful for example if you want to show uh, let's say uh, uh, previous uh, and current data to compare them uh, for some reason right uh, but uh, we are not going to go into so much details uh, in this video we are just going to use uh, a series one for demonstration and uh, you can uh, specify here uh, many different options so for example uh, I can go on general uh, I can select fonts uh, uh, I can uh, define the title uh, labels uh, I can uh, okay so uh, okay something like this I can define do I want uh, my legend to be visible or not should it be inverted uh, what is the style of uh, of that legend uh, uh, how panel looks like paging walls uh, 3d or not uh, there are really so many options uh, to choose from um, so uh, like I said it's only a standard version but uh, it's really uh, so good that uh, it's it's like you are working with a paid version okay so um, I'm having this sample data here and uh, I want to add something uh, inside that graph and uh, I will add a button here okay and uh, what I want is uh, to add uh, uh, let's say five random uh, values into this graph so the question is how can we uh, add something to this uh, bar graph here uh, first we need to uh, identify what is representing graph uh, at this time uh, this uh, this bar uh, 
uh, series it is represented by this series one uh, 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 object and uh, we are going to address that uh, series one and simply saying add okay and uh, so he pretty much says here what value do we want to add and what is the label on that value and I can also specify the color uh, of that uh, graph if I want to uh, okay so um, well let's uh, try to add some random I will put it here in the constructor and I will just say um, add uh, so what do I need to specify here some value okay and uh, that value is random from uh, let's say uh, 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 100 from 0 to 100 or from uh, 1 to 100 uh, some uh, caption here or a label and um, I won't specify any color uh, I'll let it choose him uh, himself uh, okay add five random values and as you can see I'm having uh, now a graph where I have uh, five random values this is uh, value 95 uh, this is 10 this is 35 okay 10 55 I can add uh, more and more and so on and uh, now maybe we want to customize this a little bit because uh, I already know that this is a label but I want to have for example uh, the value displayed uh, up here so I'll just uh, go here and uh, marks uh, are they visible or not uh, as you can see I can specify everything uh, what text do I want to have here Lab label or value I'll just say value okay I want to have value I can also say uh, do I want to have a straight line here or a solid line uh, or none uh, do I want to have some tail visible um, style do I want to change the angle as you can see really a lot of options here uh, to, for you to play with uh, I can even choose the uh, some predefined styles in the gallery uh, uh, so something like this or something like this it really doesn't matter and once I close this now let's try again add five random values okay so why didn't he uh, let's just say mark um, text I said I want a, a value here okay close okay now it works I will obviously I didn't uh, select it the first time and the second time and and so on and so on so uh, pretty much uh, very easy to do so in order to add a value uh, in, a, in a graph or a series you simply say um, uh, you, you simply uh, call this add uh, uh, method uh, and that's it okay uh, the same thing can be done if you are using a database table uh, or a, a result of a SQL query uh, as a data source so I will add uh, this time uh, not the uh, first T chart but this uh, DB chart that is designed to work with database data uh, so um, again I'll repeat the procedure I'll double click this and I'll add a new chart again a, a pie chart and um, I will uh, specify here in that uh, chart a data source data source is a data set of which data set uh, a to table one label um, label is the first name and uh, a bar will be score if I apply this now I can see that uh, I got uh, the content of this table here 
okay so uh, I see that this is John its value is 55 but uh, yes in this case also I would like to replace uh, this uh, uh, text with the actual value so I'll go here under marks and say text it's not label or value but a value and now we can see John 55 as it's specified in this table and 87 uh, mark 23 Julie uh, 49 and uh, it, there is also Peter present actually uh, it's 91 and uh, if I right click uh, the T chart component I can see a print preview uh, uh, so it's a graph ready for printing I can uh, export those charts as a bitmap as a meta file um, I can uh, uh, edit some other options as well uh, uh, I can pretty much say um, okay uh, legend I don't even want to see it for example if I don't want it uh, or I want it to be inverted or uh, text I want uh, to be on the right side um, and uh, on the left or on the top or any anything that you pretty much want here so uh, as you can see this is a very uh, a good component uh, it gives you so many options and like I said uh, it can be even better if you uh, upgrade it to pro version uh, it uh, it all depends on your needs of course but if you're just starting I also uh, believe that this standard edition is just as uh, good enough uh, well uh, guys I hope that you will uh, be able to uh, uh, find this interesting and to use it in your own applications because like I said uh, it's very easy and uh, pretty much uh, a minimum amount of code uh, is necessary to do this. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon.